This week, find out which beloved South Asian actor challenged Hollywood to create more Muslim inclusion, which popular kids' TV show made an educational video combating anti-Asian bullying, and which Hmong American gymnast made history. You can catch all this and more here on The Lookout. In a rainbow sequin gown that she designed herself, Catalina Enriquez made history as the first openly transgender contestant set to compete in the Miss USA pageant after being crowned Miss Nevada earlier this week. Several mixed Asian entertainers won big at the Black Entertainment Awards at this year's ceremony, including tennis champion Naomi Osaka for Sportswoman of the Year, Her for Best Female R&B and Pop Artist, and Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack for Best Group as Silk Sonic. Riz Ahmed started the hashtag Muslim Visibility Challenge on social media this week, calling upon the film and TV industry to do better in terms of Muslim representation and visibility in media. The hashtag sparked conversation and is another step in Ahmed's mission to increase Muslim visibility after partnering with the Pillars Fund, an organization that has conducted studies on Muslim representation in mainstream media. East-West Players, the nation's largest producer of Asian American theatrical works, and the organization's producing artistic director, Snehal Desai, were honored by Los Angeles city leaders for Pride Month. Founded in 1965 by Asian artists, East West Players has long been committed to accurately portraying the LGBTQ Asian American experience through theater and has produced over 200 plays and musicals. Netflix released a teaser for a new dramedy series, The Chair, showing Sandra Oh's character, Dr. Ji Yoon Kim, sitting at her desk, only to break and fall off of it, as the chair of the English department at a small university. The series will premiere August 20th and follow Kim's efforts to meet the high expectations facing her as the first woman of color in her esteemed position. Marvel released the action-packed trailer for the highly anticipated Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, starring Simu Liu, Aquafina, Michelle Yeoh, and Tony Leung, to name a few. The new trailer, complete with martial arts, element bending, and a look at the ominous Ten Rings, shows the ways in which Liu's character confronts his past and struggles with his identity, as he's drawn into the Ten Rings organization, a group he thought he left behind. Sesame Street is tackling anti-Asian bullying with their Proud of Your Eyes video. The new educational piece features the Muppet Wes, one of the show's newest characters, and Alan, a Japanese-American store owner, comforting Anna Lynn, who was bullied because of the shape of her eyes. Wes and Alan sing to Anna Lynn, inspiring her to be proud of her facial features as they tell the story of her family and where she comes from. Proud of Your Eyes is part of a larger initiative by Sesame Street called Coming Together, which seeks to help children understand and celebrate different races, ethnicities, and cultures. Soko Glam co-founder Charlotte Cho recently released her second book, The Little Book of Jung. In it, Cho delves into the Korean concept of Jung and how it has the potential to transform people's relationships and can help them build deeper bonds with those around them. Gymnast Yul Muldaur and Suni Lee will represent the U.S. at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. As one of the most decorated college gymnasts in the country, Muldaur has hit a big milestone and is fulfilling a lifelong dream. Similarly, with this accomplishment, Lee has become the first Hmong American on an Olympic gymnastics team. That's all for now on The Lookout. Tune in again next week for another recap of the biggest headlines in AAPI entertainment news.